testing is this thing working y'all see me y'all see me y'all see me all right good so i know why you come here um you've probably seen the well you have to have seen it the the title that i have above are you looking to buy a car from auction so listen let me give you some some information that you need to know listen if you're gonna buy a car through auction and if you're gonna buy a car through auction if you're buy, if you're gonna buy a car from auction through me um i'm just gonna basically lay down the basics that you need to know uh let's just talk about dealerships real quick you know so dealerships there are three ways that they acquire vehicles the first way that they acquire vehicles are straight off the manufacturer let's take toyota of hollywood for example they get a brand new vehicle from from toyota and they sell it the second way is is a way that you know most of you guys probably went through they traded a vehicle somebody traded a vehicle in for a new vehicle so you have a nice vehicle and maybe you don't want it anymore maybe you want something else maybe you want something different so you go and you trade your vehicle for a new vehicle so that is a second way of uh, that's the second way of acquiring a, a vehicle at you know for dealerships and the third way is buying vehicles from you know directly from auctions you know so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying vehicles from auction you know i'm going to be looking for vehicles for you through auction and the way that you you need to you need to buy these cars from auction is you need to have an auction license not everybody has an auction license and if you do i don't even know why you're here go find yourself a deal um but if you don't and you're looking to to, to find a good deal and if you're looking for you know great advice uh you, you know from somebody who who's been through this I'm your guy now that you have the information on how the dealerships get these cars let me explain to you this they get these cars at great deals once they get the car at a great deal they go back and sell it to you for a crazy deal for them now they're now they're, they're in it for the profit um, so they're they're gonna buy a car for a certain amount you know and they're gonna come bring it back to their dealership you know fix whatever they have to fix with it if, if needed and put it right back on 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 their you know in, in the front of their dealership to sell to you so they're going to take a let's say let's give you let's give you a regular example they're going to take an eight thousand dollar car that they bought from auction just to sell to you back at sixteen thousand dollars if that's the deal that they got remember i'm saying if that's the deal that they got it doesn't happen all the time they may they may get something and they can only sell it for four thousand dollars more but i'm just giving you an example so you don't want to be in that trap you, you, you don't want to be you know be that person going to buy a car from a dealership uh that is overpriced you know you don't have to be that guy you don't have to be that person so what we're going to do first is we're going to figure out what car you're interested in let me give you an example from my last transaction and that example is going to be basically what you guys should use as reference to how everything is going to work out if you guys do have any questions after this video please feel free i'm always here you can message me off of facebook or wherever you see this video message me and we'll get into contact and we'll we'll we'll, we'll do business and, and and find you a good deal so first thing you have to do is find yourself a vehicle that you want Let, let's use the example that I was gonna use somebody needed to, to buy a Toyota he said you know um, I'm really interested in this Toyota and I'm interested in this year I said cool perfect so what what I did afterwards is I asked him a question I said have you seen what the vehicle selling for outside you know in, in, in the market on the market um, and he said, yeah, you know, I, I've seen how much it's been sold for. And then he said, you know, I have a friend that told me I can get it for this price too. You know, just because, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say this, just because your friend gets a deal doesn't mean you're going to get that same deal. You understand? And, and every deal has something that, that comes with it. You know, maybe your friend had gotten a deal uh, and, and it may have not been a clean title. I'm just saying this. This is this is this is me thinking. Maybe your friend had gotten a deal where it was it was a really good deal for a car. Maybe the car is really clean. Maybe the car, you know, it, it can be clean and still be a rebuilt title. That's still a good deal. Like I wouldn't mind that if I got a perfectly good car that's not giving me any issues and it was it was a rebuilt title. Shoot, I'll take it. But a lot of people, and I know a lot of you guys are looking for clean titles, clean titles. 
I'm here for you. I can help you find that. So he said that uh, his friend was able to get this deal. I said, listen, I can't promise you this deal because you know how much this car is going for on the market, but let's be realistic about what you are willing to pay. So now we brought budget into it. So his budget at first was about $7,000, you know? And I'm saying, and, and, and I looked at him and I said, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. And, I, and I'll give you some examples of, of, of vehicles that, you know, in that particular year, and I'll give you examples of what they sold at. So what we did the next day is we looked at an auction site, you know, together. I, I had him on the phone with me, um, on FaceTime actually. And I said, listen, um, I, I sent him a car and I said, listen, are, would you be interested in this car if, if it came up? He said, yeah. Um, and we, we we went the, we went on the next day and you know he he looked at the car i looked at the car i said all right you you you're, you're willing to pay up to seven thousand dollars for it he said yeah um so we looked at the car we looked at the car and i guess he was really interested in it because the, this car had a lift kit it had the rims on it and, and everything so um as we were on the phone he was like you know what I, I'll, I'll raise up my price a little bit because i told him where where, where the pre-bid was at um, because you can actually set a, a, a pre-bid so once the car gets on auction on the auction block um, it's, it's gonna start at that pre-bid if you're the highest if you're the highest pre-bidder so so he saw the the, the pre-bid was already high you know and I, I made a pre-bid and I was winning but somebody else made a, 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 another pre-bid so they they you know they got over me so we already looked at the car and it was at, it was already at like eight thousand dollars. So he was like, dang, I really want that truck. I'm still getting a good deal if I get it for like eight or eight, nine thousand dollars. So I said, all right, no problem, cool. And he was he was getting a great deal because the car was it was lifted, it had stuff done to it. So modifications on cars can can make a car sell for way more. So we looked at the auction that day and he said, All right, man, let, let, let's get this deal, let's get this deal. So I'm bidding away, I'm bidding away, and the car went up to nine thousand. And he was like, bro, I, I want this car. We kept going, we kept going. Mind you, he's still getting a good deal. So it went up to $11,000 and he was like, you know what, this deal is not a good deal for me anymore. So we scrapped that deal and, and we, I went to the searching board and, and, and found him another one. And I said, listen, you can buy this vehicle, you know, stock, no modifications on it and get a great deal on this vehicle and do whatever you have to do to it afterwards and you're still under you're still way under what the other vehicle would have cost you so he said all right no problem let's do that so the vehicle the vehicle's price is uh at about 13 to uh, dealership sell it for around 13 to 15 thousand dollars to say that 15 is a really good day if they're really getting a, a good you know if they really find somebody that they're gonna sell that car to so and for the year that I got him, he was looking for a, a, a year older. I found him uh, the ve like a vehicle that was a year newer. And the next day we, we found the vehicle and it was in clean condition based off of what we saw. Um, everything checked out. So time to go to the bidding, you know, you, you time to bid on this vehicle. Uh, so we, we set a pre-bid and um, that, that pre-bid is for me to have it on my list. So in the morning when I wake up, I just go on the computer and I see it and I start bidding, you know, once the time comes to bid. So we saw the vehicle. I was, you know, and he told me he had given me the, the permission to bid for him and he gave me his, his, his limit. So we bid for the vehicle and he got it at six grand, like $6,000 for a vehicle. He, he basically paid less than half of the vehicle's cost. And that's a really great deal. That's some of the deals that you can possibly get at an auction. You know, so see, I gave you an example for that. He got a really good deal. He's happy. So now let me explain to you the process of getting this. You know, at first I started saying, find the vehicle that you want. We're going to, we're, we're going to build a budget for you. We're going to build a budget that is, you know, and, and, and you have to be realistic. You know, we're, we're, we're and, I, and I've said this before on a post. This is, you know, the, the auction is not a little fairy tale where you're gonna find a 2020 vehicle for $3,000. 
please do not come to me asking for a 2020 vehicle for three thousand dollars because you're not gonna get that if you want a 2020 if you really want a 2020 vehicle for three thousand dollars the best thing that you could possibly get is a radio a few tires and, and a door if that's what you're looking for just don't come to me with that because it's just not gonna work let's be realistic so we came up with a realistic budget he gave me the budget nine thousand dollars right and then so he got the vehicle for way lower he got the vehicle for three thousand dollars lower than his budget so then we worked on um you know how much he, he would pay for for auction fees auction fees vary it does vary the auction fee varies based off of the price of the vehicle so then he had uh, the auction fee and then afterwards the vehicle was coming from a different state but say you're in florida with me say you're in south florida which is even better uh say the vehicle sold in miami you know uh or sold in, in in the broward area or the west palm beach area somewhere that's close i can go pick up that vehicle for you or we can go pick it up together right um so if so the vehicle is coming from from tennessee so we 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 had gotten a quote on how much the vehicle would how much it would be to get the vehicle down here and it was a very fair quote a very a great quote because the vehicle it, it's gonna take the vehicle like two days to get down here as opposed to waiting about you know nine to 14 days most companies out here who who do ship these vehicles it does take a very long time so to, to be able to get a car like it, it's basically like a two-day shipping depending on how long it takes to you know well depending on when the vehicle is picked up right so I have a connect for that you know we we, we you know in, in this business you do have to have people that you trust and 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 colleagues of yours that that you know will get the job done so in this business where I'm, I'm here for you to be able to get your vehicle bought and to be able to get your vehicle to you as fast as possible so we worked on the the fee that that it will cost for transporting the vehicle and then afterwards there's a finders you know a finding and, and, and handling fee which goes to me and the dealership that I'm under what we do primarily is find vehicles for people for people and if we need to sell a vehicle you know if we if we want to buy a vehicle to sell we can do that um so we worked on that price and then what the last thing to do is something that you would do no matter what no matter if you bought a vehicle from a person the vehicle from an auction the vehicle from a dealer you do have to pay for oh i'm getting a call let me hang that up so you do have to pay for your title transfer and your tag if you're if you're getting a new tag you know the process of that and if you're just transferring everything from your old car to to this new car um we work on that fee and that that's based off of you know everyone's you know everyone buying a car so from there we got him a good deal so so uh, let me talk about the process again so the process was first we find the vehicle that you're interested in we find out how much is selling for at you know at dealerships and then we base you know your your budget off of that so then at like you know the budget for you to buy the vehicle we set that and then we have the fees for the auction depending on the price of the car the fee to get it down here if it is in another state but if it's not in another state and if it's in the the vicinity of Broward, uh, West Palm Beach, and Miami-Dade County, I got you. And what we did afterwards is we worked on our fee, and then the fee that comes afterwards is your regular title transfer. If you do, you know, well, title transfer is 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 a must. A title transfer and a tag transfer. If you do already have a tag, if you don't, we can work on getting you a new tag and a temp tag for the 30 days before your your new tag comes in your your, your physical tag so now that i've given you guys these example or this example and i've given you the, the walkthrough of how i'm able to help you find a, a vehicle if you're interested feel free to contact me um you know through through messenger or you know through my email i'll leave the email in the in the description below um or up here if, if this is facebook uh, and you know feel free to ask me any questions if you have if you have further questions and when you buy these cars from from auction just remember you know you're, you're basically like a dealership now so if the car does you know we're gonna look at every nick and, and, and like all the possible nicks that these cars can have before 
before I get an okay from you. And we're gonna talk about it. If you're still interested in the car, because you're still getting a good deal. If you're still interested in the car and you, and you see something that you have to fix that is minor, listen, that's still a great deal. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. This was a longer video than I intended it to be. Um, but I just really wanted to give you guys the information that you need, you know? I could write everything out, but having a video, having something to, to, to be able to watch, you know, every time that, that you, you're thinking about buying a car um, from auction is really good. So, um, like I said before, feel free to message me if you're really interested in, in, in getting a car from auction. If you're, if you're tired of, you know, going to these dealerships to pay, you know, overpriced, you know, to, to pay for a car that, that's just overpriced, you know, I'm your guy. All right, I'm out.